Hey everybody, it's Miss Piper. I have another book that I'm going to read to you today, and this is called Charlie Anderson. What do you think it might be about? Hmm, do you think maybe it's about a cat? Let's see. My author is Barbara Abercrombie, and my illustrator who drew the pictures is Mark Graham. Let's find out about Charlie Anderson. One cold night, a cat walked out of the woods, up the steps, across the deck, and into the house where Elizabeth and Sarah lived. He curled up next to their fireplace to get warm. He watched the six o'clock news on TV. He tasted their dinner and he tried out their beds. He decided to stay and the girls named him Charlie. Every morning after breakfast, Charlie disappeared into the woods again. There he is sneaking out the door and the girls are watching him leave. At night, when he came home, Elizabeth brushed him clean, fed him dinner, and made a space for him at the foot of her bed. He liked Elizabeth's bed the best. Sometimes she would wake up in the middle of the night and hear him purring in the dark. Sarah called him baby and dressed him up in doll clothes. That's silly. When it snowed, Elizabeth and Sarah's mother heated Charlie's milk before he left for the woods. Did you know that milk that cats love to drink milk? They really do. Charlie grew fatter and fatter, and every day he purred louder and louder. Look at that cute cat. On the weekends, the girls stayed with their father and stepmother in the city. They wanted to bring Charlie with them, but their mother said he would miss the woods. Charlie's a country cat, she told them. They're feeling a little bit disappointed because they really want him to go to the city. One stormy night, Charlie didn't come home. Elizabeth and Sarah stayed out on the deck and called and called his name, but no Charlie. Where was he? Why would he come out of the woods? Was Charlie all right? All night long, Elizabeth listened to the rain beating on the roof and the wind rattling the windows. Was Charlie cold? Was Charlie hurt? Where was Charlie? In the morning, Elizabeth and Sarah looked for him. They asked the lady down the road if she'd seen their cat. She said no, and she offered them some cookies, but they were too worried to eat anything, even delicious chocolate chip cookies. Next, they went to the new house on the other side of the woods. Have you seen our cat, they asked. His name's Charlie. He's very fat and he has gray striped fur. Hmm, said the man. We have a cat with gray striped fur, said the man, but his name's not Charlie. His name is Anderson. He's upstairs, asleep on our bed. They heard a meow, and down the stairs came a very fat cat with gray striped fur. Charlie, Sarah and Elizabeth cried. No, that's Anderson, said the woman. We've had him for seven years. Isn't that right, Anderson? And he looked at her and he began to purr. Does that cat Anderson look like Charlie? Hmm. I think so. But that's Charlie, Sarah said. He looked at her and he purred louder. Is he ever here at night? Elizabeth asked. No, Anderson goes outside at night. He's a hunter. Well, he comes to my house and sleeps in my bed, said Elizabeth. He leaves for the woods after we feed him breakfast. Well, he comes back to our house to eat breakfast, said the woman, and he leaves right after we feed him dinner. They all looked at that silly cat. He sat at their feet, very happy and very fat. He was going to two houses. Now they call him Charlie Anderson. Sometimes in bed at night, Elizabeth asks him, who do you love best, Charlie Anderson? And she can hear him purring in the dark. Just like Elizabeth and Sarah, Charlie has two houses with two beds and two families who love him. He's a very lucky cat. Look at that. The end.